Hi everyone, welcome to Elementary Statistics Math 12 and I'm your instructor Yin Yi Lam. You guys can call me Miss Lam or Professor Lam. This is a four unit online class which will require you to spend about 12 hours every week in campus to watch the video lecture, complete the homework assignment, take the quiz and the midterms and finals. And the online course will require students to be self-motivated and plan the work ahead, means don't wait until last minute to do the work. And since this is an online class, it will be conducted remotely online with no required virtual schedule meetings. However, the midterms and the final will be on the specific day that state on the syllabus. I'm looking forward to meet with you in Canvas and explore all the fun in this statistic course. If you have any concern regarding to the material, syllabus, homework, or the midterms, you can contact me by leaving a message for Canvas or by the school email. I'll be checking Canvas and the email every day and get back to you within 24 hours, except Saturday and Sunday. Now, let's look at the syllabus. And this is my email address. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. Okay, the room will be the online classroom. And then that's a textbook, Introductory Statistics, Exploring the World Through the Data, third edition. But actually, you guys don't have to purchase the physical textbook because we'll be using the Parison Mindset Lab. So, um, so when you buy the access code, it comes with the e textbook. Okay, grade, letter grade, pass or no pass. Okay, course description. This is what we're going to learn for this semester. Okay, online course. This course is online course. So the online component of the course will be administrative full canvas. Okay, Canvas will be our online classroom and all materials and activities be offered asynchronously, meaning the students can access them at any time. So please make sure you are able to access the RCCD Canvas site. I believe most of the students know how to log into the Canvas, right? And if you guys forgot your password for the canvas, um, don't email me. I can't help you to reset the password, okay? You may want to contact the school technical support for your password. Okay, calculator. Uh, you guys need a calculator for this course. I would recommend the TI-83 plus or TI-84 plus. All my lecture and the PowerPoint will be based on these two calculators. I will give you guys the detailed instruction how to use these two calculator. If using something else, that's okay, but I may not know how to use it. And you guys really need the calculator for the lecture, the homework, and the midterm and finals, okay? If you don't have one and you are going to buy the new one, buy the TI-84 parts. And also, um, as I know, the school, they do have the calculator rental. You just, need the, you just need your school ID, go to the library. Um, you could borrow the TI-84 plus calculator for the whole semester. Okay, my Lab homework. So homework is extremely important for learning mathematics. So um, if you guys watch me to work on the questions, it always makes sense to you guys. You have to try to do it by yourself, okay? Uh, you guys need to purchase the access code from online, and but I highly recommend you guys try to use the 14 days free trial to see if you really like this class before you purchase. And I will talk more about it uh, when we uh, log into the canvas. Okay, quiz. Sam, my dear, will be using uh, my stat lab for the quiz. You will have quiz for almost like every week. Okay, midterms. There are three midterms will be given for the course of the semester. 
and the midterm will be available on a specific day from 8 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Uh, I usually set it up on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, during this time period from 8 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., you could access your midterm and you only have a one attempt and you do have a three hours to complete the exam. And for the three hours, I would say you do have a two hours to work on exam. For another hour, that is for you guys to print it out. And also, you want to scan it back to your computer, combine couple pages into one PDF file. Okay, keep in mind, one PDF file. Because uh, when you submit full canvas, they only have a one slot for you to attach one PDF file to submit it. And that's a no makeup test will be offered, but you could drop the lowest midterm. So you do have a free midterm, you could drop the lowest one. Okay, if something happened on you, you can't take the midterm on that day, you could drop it. It doesn't hurt your, uh, it doesn't hurt your final grade at all. So midterm one will be from chapter one to chapter four, midterm two, chapter five to chapter seven, and midterm three will be chapter eight to chapter 10. For the midterm, uh, I do have a sample midterm for you guys, okay? If you guys know how to do the sample midterm, you'll be really good on your midterm. Extra credit, I'm gonna put the EC here, okay? Student will be given the opportunity to complete extra credit assignments. You only have a one attempt, okay? Details are in Canvas. Okay, final exam. I set it up on the Tuesday, December 12th online. And the final is accumulated from chapter 1 to chapter 10. The format will be similar to the midterms. Okay, two hours to work on the exam. And then you do have about like 30 minutes to 45 minutes to upload it. Okay, great component. You do homework 15%, quiz 15%. This is already 30% here. And the midterms 45%. You do have a free midterms, but you could drop one of it. So meaning that you do have a 22.5% percent for each midterm it's pretty high percentage and the final will be 25 percent and the extra credit will be five percent that will be on campus okay academic honestly policy so um don't cheat on my class i want you guys keep in mind that homework you can find a study partner you could do do a homework together but not for the quiz not for the midterm and finals Okay, midterm and finals, it should be close book, close notes, and do it by yourself. Okay, attendance. Attendance is not required for the online class. However, it is your responsibility to watch all the video lectures, finish the homework assignment, take quiz and midterms before the due date. If you're not active to the class, such as not finishing homework, not taking any quiz or midterm, and missing the deadline, I may assume that you're no longer with this class. So I may drop you from the course. So if something happened on you, you didn't turn in all the work by the due date, please email me, let me know, okay? Otherwise, I will be assumed you're no longer with this class. Dropping the class. Um, if you are no longer with this class, please drop the course by yourself. Otherwise, you may receive the letter F grade in this course. Okay, to the service, you can have an online or face-to-face -face, uh, academic support service. Okay, all support is free. So, uh, I want you guys to highlight the schedule here. Okay, Monday to Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they open from Monday to Saturday. Feel free to go to the campus to ask for the help. Disability. If you guys need anything, please let me know earlier and you could email me, okay? Some helpful hints with regards to taking an online class. With the course syllabus, this is so important. 
Okay, syllabus is a contract between you and me. Be sure you understand all the course policy. One will be the quiz and the homework or the midterm due. And if you have uh, any questions about the course policy, contact me full canvas email so I can clarify the issue. Okay, so after you guys watch this video, I want you guys print out the syllabus with it one more time by yourself. And then pay attention to the deadlines and the assignment date. This is big. When you don't check for class update or get your assignment in on time, it is very easy to fall behind in the class. Think about it. Um, actually, like every week, we almost finish one chapter. We do have a 10 chapters for total. If you miss one week work, it means next week you do have a two chapters and then two chapters of the homework to take care of. So please pay attention to the deadlines and the assignment due dates. And don't be afraid to ask questions. There are no dumb questions in academic. So uh, if you guys have any questions, especially you guys taking an online class, email me, okay? I could uh, save some time to help you guys out. And also each week, check your weekly overview schedule for the homework assignment. Give yourself plenty of time to turn in the assignment. Uh, all my homework and quiz due day will be on Sunday at 11.59 p.m. If you guys start working on the homework and the quiz on Saturday or Sunday, if you get stuck on it, I may not be able to help you guys. Remember, I only check my emails from Monday to Friday. If you email me on Saturday about the homework questions, I may not be able to help you. So I want you guys work on your homework and the quiz earlier. If you guys have any questions, I could help you guys out before the due date. Okay, do not expect immediate response to the questions. Oh, just what I say, okay? Monday to Friday, it should be okay, but not Saturday on Sunday because I do have my family to take care of and I have a two kids, okay? Okay, so this is the important days. Uh, we do have the holiday, but uh, it doesn't really affect us because this is an online class. Okay, tentative schedule. I need you guys print out the syllabus, especially this page. I want you guys put this page on your desk or on your binder. Okay, you could see I will just assume um, my, our starting day will be on Tuesday. So actually like all the midterms, you could see midterm one, midterm two, midterm three, it all happens on Tuesday, final also. And then for each day, like for Tuesday, I will put it here. Means like for this week, we're gonna talk about the syllabus. We will be cover the session as stand for the session 1.1 to 1.5. So this week we'll be working 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, and 1.5. That's a lot, right? But actually, it's it is not a lot because 1.1 and 1 1.3 is about only one page of the notes, and uh, chapter one is pretty easy though, okay. So you could um, so you could watch my video lecture to see, and then Sunday I will put all the deal days will be on Sunday. Remember what is the easy? Easy will be the extra credit, okay. Uh, I do have a eleven extra credit in Canvas. The easy zero zero. This is the course information quiz. Okay, course information quiz will be related to this video and something in Canvas. Okay, I will let you guys take a look of it. Okay, and that will be due on this Sunday at 11.59 p.m. And then you do have a two attempt for this extra credit. So this week, I need you guys one more time, watch this video, watch 1.1 to 1.5 lecture video and then start working on your homework the due date will be on next sunday you can see due homework 
session 1.1 to 1.5 and also quiz 1. For the homework, um, that's an unlimited attempt before the due date. So it's easily you guys can get 100% of it. For the quiz, you only have a one attempt and they do have a time limit. It's usually about like 16 minutes or 90 minutes for each quiz. And for the homework, I didn't assign a lot of the questions. Usually for one session, it's about 10 questions. Okay. And then next week, next Tuesday, we're going to start working on the session 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and 2.4. So after you're done for the homework, I will highly recommend you guys start working on the homework. I put the due date on next Sunday, but actually it will be more make sense if you guys watch the video and then do the homework after, okay? So please focus all the due dates in here, okay? Don't fall behind. And then you can see that's a review midterm one, meaning that uh, you will see the sample midterm in Canvas. Uh, please print it out, do it by yourself, okay? I will post the solution later, okay? And then one more time, if you guys know how to do the sample midterm, you should be able to work on your midterm. Okay, so highlight all this big day. Okay, now let's look at the canvas. When you guys log into the canvas, you're gonna see there's a course information. Okay, so first thing you need to do, click on the syllabus. I want you guys to review the syllabus by yourself and also print it out, especially the last page. This is our tentative schedule. Please put it on your desk. Pay attention all the due dates here. Okay. And then I'm going to kick back to the home. So you can see I do have to take in here. And then second one. I want you guys to watch this video, syllabus and course information. Click on it. And then there is a YouTube link here. Click on it. Hi, everyone. Okay, you're going to watch this video. Go back to home. You're going to see there's another tick here. Introduction to Canvas. If you are new to the Canvas, you could watch this video. Okay, and then... I want you guys to work on the extra credit course information quiz part one. We do have a two part of it. First one, click on it. There are 11 questions of multiple choice, true or false, and multiple answer questions. You have a 90 minutes and two attempts for this quiz. So click on it. So you're going to work on it by yourself. Okay. I want to remind you guys, you can see from the question 5 here, we do have the square answer and then you have a circle answer here. For the square answer means you could answer multiple, okay? For the circle answer, you only choose either one of them. Keep in mind of that. Okay, once you're done, you're going to submit your quiz. Okay, and then go back to the home. Okay, you could see if you didn't complete all the items here, you won't be able to click on the notes or anything from here because we do have a prerequisite, the course information. You have to do it like one by one in here. And then the last one here, course information, quiz part two, you have to work on it. And then you have to get the score at least one, one over two. Actually, there's only one question in here. And these questions require a file upload. You do have a two options. Either you print it out, complete the questions, scan it back to your computer and upload it. Or if you don't have the printer, you could write it down on a piece of the paper and then scan it back to your computer. If you don't have the scanner, you could use your cell phone. Okay, let's take the quiz. You could download either one of the file, the PDF file or the Microsoft Office file. Please follow the instructions here. 
we do have a three pages, page one, page two, and page three. I don't want you guys combine into one page. I know you guys have a plenty of space, but this is the practice just like your midterm and final, okay? I want you guys know how to pin out couple pages, scan it back to your computer, and combine it into one PDF file, okay? One PDF file because you only have a one slot to upload your file. If you have the more than one file, you won't be able to upload it, okay? So either print it out or write down your answer on a piece of paper. If you write it down on a piece of paper, please write it down to two or three pages here, okay? So answer the questions. And then this one, just draw a picture to describe yourself. Okay, once you're done, you can see, choose a file in here. Before you upload the file, I want you guys to rename the file name. I want you guys to put it on your first name, underscore here, and the last name, and then write it down. We are working on the extra credit 00, zero. okay? So, I'm going to go back to my file here. I'm going to rename it, first name, last name. And then we are working on the extra credit, zero, zero. Enter. Okay, so I do have the same file in here. Okay, so now you can see I only have a one slot to upload my file. So make sure you combine three pages into one PDF file. So I'll click on it, open. You're gonna see your file has been successfully uploaded. Okay, and then I could submit the quiz. And then I'm going to go back to the home. After I'm done, you can see I didn't get the green tick. And also, I can't access all the notes in here because I need to grade it before you go to the introduction to data. Okay, if you are waiting for it, feel free to email me. I will try my best to grade for you as soon as possible. Okay, and one more time, this part is really important because the format is similar to the midterm and the final. I do have a lot of students every semester. They don't know how to combine the exam into one PDF file and upload it. Okay. I don't accept your midterm and final by email. You have to turn in the exam through the canvas here. So I need all of you guys to take this quiz. You guys need to know how to combine a couple pages into one PDF file and upload it. Once I create your course information quiz part two, you're gonna see here. Click on the gray. You could see uh, at least you get like one point out of the two, okay? And then kick back to the home. Okay, now you could access uh, all the notes and the PowerPoint here. First, click on session 1.1, the notes. I do provide the notes in here. You could print it out and then go back to home. You're gonna see, um, I do have the video for session 1.1. Watch the video with the notes. Sometimes we do have the cast work and then uh, I'm gonna do it with you, but you don't need to turn in the notes. After you're done for the video, you could work on the homework, but for the session 1.1, we don't have the homework. So you could just skip it and then click on session 1.2. Print out the notes. And again, watch the video for session 1.2. Okay. Once you're done, before you work on the homework, you're going to go to the Mind Lab and Mastering.
okay make sure you allow the pop-ups to continue okay i could click on open my lab and master okay you do you they do have the license agreement okay i can something wrong with my internet here you should be able to wait out by yourself and i click on i accept okay once you have this uh page if you already have the person account you could uh, sign in here username and the password okay if you never have the my person account you could create an account here but when you create it make sure you film the information don't use your nickname okay use your official name in school and write down the username and the password and then which email you'll be using with this person account okay so i do have uh i do have account here okay so continue here okay so um you do have the options in here if you already have the access code you could click on here uh, some students ask me if they you could buy the access code from the amazon i don't really recommend it because i have some students they purchase the access code from amazon and it finds out it doesn't have this correct one so i would say you could buy this one student access 18 weeks okay so it's going to be $94.99 in here. Or highly recommend you guys get the temporary access without payment for 14 days. Okay, you could try it. You don't have to purchase it right now. Um, we'll just watch all the video when you start working on the homework. You could sign in here, get the temporary access without payments for 14 days. Okay, so I'll click on it. So you're going to get the temporary access? Yes. But keep in mind, they only work for two weeks. After two weeks, you need to purchase it. And again, you only need to purchase the 18 weeks access, okay? Okay, so go to my course. Okay, this, that's a e-test contents. So if you guys want to read the test book by yourself, you could have the test book in here, okay? Section 1.1, will the e-test. You do have the e-book here, so not necessary to buy the physical books. Okay, allow and continues, continue. Okay, so this is going to be your test book here okay and then go back to the course home here okay um don't don't do don't work on the assignment here okay i'm gonna show you after you log it in you could go back to canvas okay click on home Please work on the homework and the quiz through Canvas. So you're going to see, uh, we don't have a session 1.1 homework, okay? So you're going to start with the session 1.2 homework. Click on here. So the first session 1.2, you do have a child questions. Okay, one more time. This is unlimited trial before the due date. Okay, so I'll click on the question one. <clears throat> you can see how me solve this for an example, get more help. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, okay, you could do it like this way. Okay, with this table, answer the questions, type the whole number. Okay, you do have a couple questions in here. Okay, help me solve this or view an example. Okay. 
so that's all about it if you guys have any questions feel free to contact me as soon as possible okay i'll be here for you guys every day from monday to friday hope you guys have a nice semester bye bye